分へ You Dempsey? Yeah, who are you? I don't know you, you don't know me. You called, what do you want? I've got a message for you. From who? I don't know, I'm just a messenger. What's the message? Fifty thousand there, used, untraceable. It's yours. For what? You've been asking questions around Millwall last week. What questions? You know, I don't. I could have been asking what to buy chewing gum in Millwall. That worth fifty thousand? Maybe. No deal. Think about it. I don't have to think about it, pal. You're under arrest for attempted bribery. Remember Joey? This is from Coltrane. Was he 
talking about? Get her, Eddie! Get her! Ugh. What's the problem? What? You didn't tell nobody else? No, nobody. Why? What? My boss just drove in here. Coltrane. Coltrane. Are you kidding? You finally caught up with me. Who did? We gotta get out of here. Seal the site off and keep the press out of it. Are you sure this is Coltrane? All right. All right. It had to happen one of these days. But why now? Something we're working on, maybe. Which is what? Nothing specific. We heard somebody was setting something up. We don't know where, we don't know what. They were just looking for some muscle. But there could have been a thousand other ways. At least. How do you want to play this? I already thought it out. There's only one way to play it. I'm dead. One of those bodies back there is mine. And we send you to a different town. Wrong. I stay here. I go into deep cover. Till I find out what the hell is going on and how Coltrane found me in the first place. Then Harry will be your control. Hold it! You can both stop right there. I'm not going to be anything until someone tells me what's going on. I'll arrange your funeral. Who's Coltrane? To the world, he's the assistant commissioner of the NYPD. Very few. He's the chief protector of the biggest crime families in New York City. What's he got against you? I all but busted him in the middle of a drugs deal. Put out a contract on me. That's why I left New York. Mr. Conrad, you're just in time. Can I ask you to sign this? Did you have a good flight? It was fine. Your suites are all ready for you, sir. Oh, weren't there going to be two of you? There will be. Show Mr. Conrad to his suite, will you, please? Thank you very much, sir. Right. You know, Chaz, every time I read this, Makes me want to cry. Yeah, and if you'd only saved one dog once from drowning, we may have got you a posthumous MBE. I saved the dog. No, he died. Hey. Ah, oh, thank you, Chaz. How was my send-off? Did they say nice things? It was small, dignified, and genuinely moving. In other words, totally inappropriate. No celebrities? No. You can certainly tell a man's character from his mourners. Yes, a couple of whiners. Three retired burglars. And their hostess from a rather obscure airline. That was all. You did have some rather nice flowers. Ah. In particular, a rather splendid wreath. Telegraphed anonymously from New York. Yours, Dempsey. What's this? An advance on your life assurance. It ain't very much. Deep cover, Dempsey. If it takes a long time, you'll have to earn your own living. We can't afford to take chances. Okay. One final obvious thing. Shoot. You'll be in the field. Harry has control. 
will be in charge of the case. Sure. Stay out as long as you think it's safe or until Harry calls you in. Good luck. The setup's perfect. Bedtime reading. Thank you. Oh, spread the misery. It's circulated to Interpol. Oh, I feel better already. Lab wants us at 11. Fine. Six weeks and not a word. The thought of Dempsey out there doing I don't know what makes me very nervous. Any sightings? He's disappeared. All right. Lucky, huh? With the mouth that said they'd like to put some dough on the next shot. You still have to clear the table to win, yank. Now the chance. Here we go. I don't believe it. I don't believe that. You've blown it now, Mac. Unlucky job. Thought you was Mac the lad. Hey, you know, the trouble with you limeys is that either these balls are too big or your pockets are too small. <laughs> 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 That's good, huh? You owe me 50. Let's say to uh, double or nothing on the last four. How about uh, double again if your man takes a shot? Sometime. Anytime. Sorry, Johnny. Good try, buddy. I'll buy you a drink. That guy you said was looking for muscle, you see him around today? No. See, I couldn't get the angle on it. I mean, it was just... Forget kind of... it, no sweat. Two pints of beer, please. You lost 200. Yeah, well, you made the shot while the money was hot. Hey, it was a good try. Listen, if you need some money, maybe I could help out, huh? How'd you like to work for me? Doing what? You stick around, you know, you keep me from getting into trouble. You know, I'm new in town, you show me around. Oh, what's that word you got for uh, bodyguard? 
Minder. Yeah. A minder. You can be my minder. How much? A couple hundred a week. I'll pick up the tabs. What do you say? It's a deal. It's a deal. Thanks. Who's that guy just came in the door? That's him. That's who? That's the guy that's looking for the muscle. You know his name? No. But you could find out. Yeah, I could. Yeah, we'll find out, okay? Huh. I'll circulate. Uh, Johnny, I'll circulate with you. Yeah. Star Services. I think you've got the wrong number. Oh, no, no, no. I've got the right number. Don't hang up. It's 437-4299. Right, Star Tour Services. Am I right? Oh, it's you. Do you realize it's six o'clock in the morning? Ah, uh, well, you know, time flies when you're having a good time. <laughs> um, the name is Lupino. Johnny Lupino. Johnny Lupino? Yeah, you do guides. Huh? I need guidance. Why, are you in uh, some kind of trouble? No, 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 no trouble. You know, I uh, just want an official guide, you know, so I could see the sites, you yeah. know? See the town. Uh, yes, sir. Um, when do you want to meet? Um, 7 o'clock. This evening? No, now. 7 o'clock this morning. Um, in front of Albert Hall. Right, sir. 7 a.m. Oh, uh, listen, I want an official guide accredited in one of those uh, cute little uniforms. Oh, uh, we don't wear uniforms, sir. They don't do uniforms. We need beer. Charlie 5 to control. Approaching pickup point now. Roger and out. This is it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, excuse me. I thought there was only going to be one of you. You're damn right, lady. There is only one of me. And one of him. You can call me Johnny. Or the wolf man. Oh! <laughs> hey, I didn't catch your name. Galactica. Well, gal, this is my minder, Mr. Smiley. You can call me Butch. Thank you. Well? Well, show us the sights. Hail Britannia, Britannia, hail to thee. Hail, 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 Other side. The other side. The other side. Ah! I'll have a uh, chocolate ripple with uh, walnut flakes, yeah. maple syrup, yeah. cherry on top. You sure? Positive. You sure? Yes. Get yourself some. Right. Dempsey, I have had enough. I got a name for you. Conrad. He's looking for muscle, top money. 
What's the job? I don't know. Surveillance is what's necessary. 24 hour. Get a crack team because this guy's no amateur. Description? Six foot, blonde hair, blue eyes, well dressed, wears suits. He's gonna set up a meeting. Oh, they haven't got any maple, walnut, cherries, nothing like that. Just vanilla. 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 Sure. He's setting up a meeting with some heavies at a pub called The Pilot. Hey, what's this? Hey, you didn't smoke. Are you all right? Been worse. Well, you look like you need some sleep. Hey, Johnny the Wolf, don't sleep. Diving and jiving all the time. He's coming back. Now, how do I contact you? Dempsey, how do I contact you? Wanna lick? No, thanks. Hey, Galactica's got another booking, Butch. I've seen enough already. How much are you, sweetheart? Fifty pounds. Fifty? Fifty? A day like today? Hey, here's a hundred. Oh, thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. Now listen, if you break free later, maybe uh, you could join us for the happy hour at the uh, Soho... Cellar. Soho Cellar. Well, uh, it's against regulations. Well, all right, but if you change your mind, you know, and you got a friend who'll be nice to my friend, Butch. Yeah. Yeah, and who's going to be nice to you? Some broad, eh? I think she fancies you. Yeah. Two will provide the transport. I'll clear it with the boss now. I'll call you in an hour. about the flight. The New York end is solid. All we have to do is deliver on schedule. Only you could have set this up. No, mm, compliments are cheap. Come on, I could use a drink. <laughs> now, you... Whoa. You gotta relax. You're gonna be fine, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, you, got, you, got, you gotta think broad-minded. Broad -minded. That's right, using your mind to get broad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, show her that you got an expanded sense of consciousness, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you know, like, talk about the arts. The arts. Ballet. Ballet is a good one. Oh, you mean like men in tights? Yeah, that's what really turns them on. Hey, Hi. gal, you made it! Hi. Bartender, bottle your best champagne. Who is this? Johnny Blossom. Blossom? Blossom, all right! Butch, Blossom, Blossom, Butch, say hello. Hi. Fantastic. Hello. Hey. Where'd you find her? Police Academy. Listen, we have to talk. Hey, you like that song? Hey, I do. This is our song. We're gonna dance. Wait for the champagne. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Shall we soiree? You don't have to keep this up all the time. Okay, what? Thank you. 
What do you got? Well, we've opened up a real nest of vipers. Oh, really? Carl Conrad has mafia connections. Who are the other two? Ex-paratroopers. Wow, he's putting together a heavy team. Wrong, Mara Conrad's putting together a heavy team. The wife? We think it's a cover. You're not sure? No, she's a total mystery. There is only one way to find out. What's that? That's it. Someone gets close to her. Someone? How close? Close enough to find out what she knows. Friend of yours? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Seems nice. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm his minder. Swap. You want me to do this, huh? if you want to do it. And uh, you don't care? What if you don't care? Hey! Oh. Hey! Sorry about that. Hey, keep it on. <laughs> well, what the hell? <laughs> if Johnny Lupino can pull this broad, who cares about him, right? Well, Johnny Lupino may be out of his depth. Mara Conrad is a class act. Cherry, Hey, this guy wouldn't know a sling from a bull shot. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Don't stare at the customers. This is a smart hotel. Yes, sir. Your Singapore sling, sir, or the mysteries of the Orient. Thanks. When she comes in, call for another. Okay. Hey, I'll have another. Right away, sir. Good evening. What'll it be? A martini. Dry, right? Very dry. I know how to make them right. Then you'll be the only guy in town who does. Lady, the way I mix them, it's like putting Manhattan in a glass. Hello there. Good evening. On your own? I'm waiting for someone. Aren't we all? You do make them good. Can you see Central Park yet? No. That's because you don't eat your olives. Mm. That stuff's bad for you. Barman! Bottle of champagne. I'll tell you what we do. Hey, 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 why don't you ease off, pal, huh? What did you say? Listen, uh, why don't I order you some coffee, huh? Maybe you had too much to drink. You trying to say that I'm drunk? No, sir, I wouldn't suggest anything of the sort. What the hell are you suggesting? Do you know what Listen, he means? stop bothering the lady. Lady, she's a hooker. Come on, hey, lovey, how much do you... leave. Hey. You are fired. Fired? Fine. Here, it's your loss. Listen, uh, why don't we blow this joint? I'd love to show you somewhere nice. Why not? Are you listening to me? Sure. Old Joe Borelli went up the mountain. No, not the mountain. The Empire State Building. There ain't no mountains in New York City. That's exactly why Joe Borelli took little Louie up the Empire State Building. It ain't the tallest building anymore. Well, it was then, when Louie was little. Me too. So he takes him up, and he shows him the whole city. 
Brooklyn. Queens. Bronx. Staten Island. Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill. <laughs> so he said, now remember, the family controlled all the garbage removal rackets east of the Hudson. So he says, one day, Louis, if you marry my daughter, all this garbage will be yours. It was his dream. Some dream. And it all could have come true. Except for the Lower East Side. You know about that? I've been around. There's more to you, sweetheart, than meets the eye. You better believe it. <laughs> Ooh. Can you walk? I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Princess, your carriage has arrived. Dump us home. Thanks a lot, Captain. Regards to the wife. Johnny. Yeah? Oh, I had a wonderful evening. Yeah. Maybe we should do it again. I'd like that. I'll call you. You lost your job on account of me. Yeah. I guess I did. I'll talk to my husband about you. And why would you want to do that? Well, he might have something for you. Who knows? Would that be cool? Johnny, you are very special. My husband is not going to get in the way. Let's do this right. It's me. You were dreaming about me, right? I have nightmares about you when I'm awake. Why would I need to dream about you when I'm asleep? Mind if I help myself to a beer? Why should I mind? You've broken in here so many times, now I might as well just give you a set of keys. So, how did it go? Well, you were wrong about Lupino's charms. Mm. He did all right. So what did he find out? Well, nothing yet. Then why are you here? Just making a report to my controller. Hey, listen, I'm sorry if I'm keeping you up. Dempsey. What is the matter with you? You've been acting very peculiarly lately. Nothing. Oh, there's something going on. It's more than just Coltrane. I can feel it. You don't want to know. Yes, I do. I'm your partner. I have a right to know.
I was working on this case with my partner, Joey, for a long time, five years on and off. We worked outside the department on our own. Joey started hitting the bottle. He became unreliable. The closer we got, the more he started to crack. But I kept at it. Till it got so close, so hot. So stupid. So obvious, I never saw it. All the time, Joey had been feeding me false leads that he'd been fed. Because all the years I was looking for the man, the man had already gotten to my partner. We were finally going to nail the man, sampling a new ship. A culmination of five years' work. I waited for this phone call from Joey. All night I waited. He called, told me to meet him at the docks. The finger is gonna bring the sample to the man. Then we're gonna nail him. Suddenly Coltrane shows up. Coltrane was the man. Only instead of the finger bringing the sample to Coltrane, brings it to me. Joey had set me up. Get out of here! Get out saved my life because his reflexes were slow he was going to blow the back of my head off and instead you shot him so you killed your partner Has the merchandise arrived? Uh, the deal's today. Same location? Yeah. I need some information on a Johnny Lupino. L-U-P-I-N-O. Uh, what uh, sort of information? Anything you can get. I'm gonna get some sleep.
it's me, Johnny. It's Butch. How many times I tell you? Knock, speak, and... I forgot. It's OK. It's OK. Okay, boss. I hate this heat. You drive. Uh, I don't know, boss. Uh... You know how to drive? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Move it. Okay. What are we waiting for? Clearance? Okay, I'm ready. How long have you been driving? Since I was a kid. Only, uh... Only what? Only I lost my license a couple of years ago. Did you kill anybody? No. Then drive. Hey, boss. We've got company. Stay cool, Butch. Okay. Leave it to me. No, Butch! Butch! Lady wants to talk. Nice driving. Phone disconnected. Not the time for jokes, Johnny. He was carrying this. Mm. Got a lot of friends in New York, Johnny? I got a few. Who have you worked for? Lots of people. Like? Sorry, baby. I don't kiss and tell. Good habit to get into. Yeah, that's right. I might have a job for you. Well, I ain't so sure I want it. You don't know what it is yet. Yeah, well, I got a problem, see. I don't like working for broads. This broad could make it worth your while. What's the job? Just driving. Yeah, well, your messenger boys here wrecked my car. I'll buy you another one. What about my mind, then? He's alive. What else does he want? Uh, he's sensitive and he's very attached to me. <laughs> what would you suggest? You give him a job, I'll give him a piece of my action. Okay. It's a deal. Wait outside. Yeah, wait outside. What was that all about? Just trying to make it look authentic. I went to a lot of trouble to get this organized. Listen, I'm trying to keep your old man from getting suspicious, that's all. And don't ever call me abroad again. No insult intended. I get excited. It's in the blood. Like when you blew your job at the hotel over me? Yeah. You should be more careful. I'm not a careful guy. Hello, sir. They've bought anti-tank weapons, automatic rifles, stun grenades, and they've been inspecting gas installations. Now, we have enough to book them on conspiracy right now. Why don't we just go ahead and do it? Good morning, Sergeant. Sorry, Gov. Tail on Mara. Lost her. About half an hour after she left the hotel. What is your real concern, Sergeant? Dempsey's only undercover to stay alive. Now, the longer he stays on this case, the less chance he has of doing it. He shouldn't even be on this case. His, uh, 
Is that the way he feels about it? Dempsey would never take himself off a job, no matter how dangerous it got. Is he bearing up? Yes. So far. Then it's your decision, Sergeant. You're his control. You're in the best position to judge. But the longer he stays there, the better chance we have. Sure. He's on the payroll like you asked, Leon. Sure, sure. OK. Johnny Lupino is on. I hope you're right about him, Coltrane. I've checked him out. <laughs> yeah, he's just the man for the job. 